Why hello everyone, I'm Steven from Tostamac, and welcome to another exciting edition of Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month! That's right ladies and gentlemen, the month of April is all about celebrating autism and all its awesomeness. And we got some big plans in store for you guys. Now the last two vlogs of April are going to keep a secret for now. Next week's vlog we're going to talk about at the end of the video, so please stay tuned. But today, we're going to be talking about a certain trend that you may or may not be familiar with. Of course, the trend I'm talking about is Light It Up Blue for Autism. For those who don't know what this trend is, Light It Up Blue for Autism started roughly several years ago, where people would buy these blue light bulbs and, as the name suggests, light it up blue to promote autism awareness. In fact, if memory serves correctly, last year President Donald Trump lit the White House blue to promote autism. Well, he did something good at least. So with this simple idea, you're probably thinking, this is a great idea. No one could possibly hate this idea, right? But as with every idea, there's going to be some people that hate the idea. In fact, there are some people that went as far as to say, light it up red instead for autism. But come on guys, is this really an issue? First you weren't happy with the puzzle piece as a symbol for autism. Now you're having an issue with a blue light bulb? What's next? Are you gonna hate me because I have a pair of blue headphones? Or maybe because I have a blue wireless mouse? Come on! Actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that. And I can list three reasons as to why. The first reason is, Light It Up Blue is a byproduct of Autism Speaks. For those who don't know who they are, Autism Speaks is one of the largest autism organizations out there, which would be cool, except for the fact that they treat autism as an illness that needs to be cured, as they keep emphasizing on finding a cure for autism. And as a result, they've gotten a lot of hate on that over the years, with people saying, Autism Speaks does not speak for me. So, as you can imagine, with Light It Up Blue being made by Autism Speaks, obviously it's going to get a lot of hate for it. Kind of a sins of the father thing. The second reason has to do with the color blue, or more particularly, how it relates to a certain gender. Males. Some people could look at the blue light bulb and think about the illusion that many people have that males are more likely to have autism than females, which is not true. In fact, I actually covered this topic a while back, talking about the underdiagnosis of autism in girls. To give the short version of that, because females are more socially aware in terms of like the social cues and their appearance, it's much harder to diagnose autism in girls than in boys. So it may look like boys have autism more often than girls, but it only looks that way. That doesn't make it so. Now the third reason, again, has to do with the color blue, but in terms of what the color could mean. Each color has its own feeling, its own meaning in a way. And while the color blue may be a cool and relaxing color, blue is often related to the emotions of like sadness and depression. In a sense, the color blue could make autism look like a sad and depressing thing, which is not true. It's a positive experience once you take enough time with it. So with these three reasons, you could probably get a better understanding why Light It Up Blue for Autism would get so much hate over the years. But let me ask you this, is Light It Up Red instead the better solution? I wouldn't necessarily say that. As I mentioned before, each color has its own meaning, and red is no exception. And while it may be a very playful and vibrant color, a very strong color, it also can be linked to the emotions of anger and anxiety. And what I'm worried about is, if people think about just red for autism, they could probably think about some of the downsides as well, like the meltdowns and overstimulations and whatnot. 
So with everything I told you guys about in terms of light it up blue and light it up red, you may be wondering, which one's the better choice? Well, I say, do we really have to pick just one color for autism? Wait, 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 I'm not talking about that. Please wait your turn. Look, we can talk about this topic at a later time, but I just want to focus on this one right now. So please go back there, wait your turn. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay? Okay. So that's sort of in the right direction, but not exactly what I had in mind. Just as there are a variety of colors on the color spectrum, so too are there a variety of levels of autism. And each autistic is unique. No two autistics are ever the same. So instead of everybody lighting up blue or lighting up red, just pick your own color and promote autism in your own way. If you want to light it up blue, go ahead, light it up blue. You want to light it up red? By all means, light it up red. You want to pick your own color? Won't hurt my feelings. Whatever color you choose, just do what you want to promote autism in your own way. And remember, it's not just about autism awareness, it's also about autism acceptance. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here. What do you guys think? Do you think light it up blue is best? Light it up red? Or maybe a color of your own? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching this special autism vlog, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest vlog. Also, don't forget to hit the bell. That's how you stay up to date. Also, next week's vlog is going to be talking about an experience rather than a particular topic because next week is going to be honestly autism day where I'm going to be a VIP guest for the first time ever. So after that event I'm going to be making a quick video to talk about my experience at that event. So thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen and until the next video see you later.